Aspiration 3 of Agenda 2063 envisions an Africa of good governance, democracy, respect for human rights, justice and the rule of law. The Department of Political Affairs is at the forefront of implementing the African Union's objectives to promote democratic values and practices and in treatment of the rule of law on the continent, as well as adherence to the universal principles for human rights and justice as enshrined in the African Charter for Human and People's Rights. The department also supports AU members to establish functional institutions that are overseen by capable and transformative leadership, working to ensure Africans can realise the aspirations of Agenda 2063 as relates to good governance and accountability. The Department of Political Affairs has two divisions, the Democracy, Governance, Human Rights and Elections Division and the Humanitarian Affairs, Refugees and Internally Displaced Persons Divisions. The department is at the forefront championing the African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Governance, which serves as a roadmap to encourage better governance across the continent and seeks to promote key issues such as adherence to the universal values and principles of democracy, the respect for human rights, holding regular free and fair elections, prohibiting, rejecting and condemning unconstitutional changes of government, promoting citizen participation, transparency and access to information, freedom of the press, and preventing and combating corruption. The Charter is a very, very important treaty of our union uh, that is aimed at entrenching a culture of democracy. Because when you entrench a culture of democracy, uh, it's our firm belief that you also entrench a culture of peace. The Charter has been ratified by enough member states, more than 15, and came into force in 2012. On an annual basis, every year, there are plus minus 15 elections that take place on the continent. Plus minus 15. And here, by the way, I'm talking about only presidential and parliamentary. I'm not even touching local government or referenda. So you can, you can see the picture even gets complicated if we include local government and referenda. No, I'm not even touching that. I'm talking about presidential and parliamentary, plus minus 15. So we observe all those. In that way, we are actively, you know, entrenching a culture of democracy. That elections are the norm on the continent. And you may have noticed already that uh, actually uh, military coups no longer take place on the continent. The African Governance Architecture, known as AGA, AGA, is a platform for dialogue that has been established by our heads of state and government, the 16th Extraordinary Summit in 2011, to help the African Union to promote democracy, good governance and rule of law, to prevent conflicts from happening in Africa by promoting the rule of law and also by promoting good governance and democracy. In addition to that, the AGA is also a platform for dialogue that brings African Union organs, institutions, and all other stakeholders, including, including the regional economic communities, to work together to speak with one voice to promote democracy and good governance uh, on the continent. Also, to promote and advocate for the ratification of all AU instruments and to make sure that these instruments are implemented at the national level so then we can together with our member states try to make Africa a better place for Africans to learn by the uh, promotion and protection of human and people's rights and also the promotion of democracy and rule of law. The vision of an integrated Africa calls for not just economic integration, but the integration of Africa's people by breaking down the invisible and physical barriers which have limited the movement of people, resulting in a weakened spirit of pan-Africanism, as well as preventing the growth of a knowledge and skill-sharing economy which is vital for the advancement of any society. 
The African Passport and Free Movement of Persons is an Agenda 2063 project that aims to address the issues caused by the traditional barriers that have inhibited movement across the continent by Africans. The protocol to the treaty establishing the African Economic Community relating to free movement of persons envisages three specific rights. Right of entry, which grants nationals of AU member states the right to enter, stay, move freely and exit the territory of another member state in accordance with the laws, regulations and procedures of the host country. Right of residence, where nationals of member states shall have the right of residence in the territory of any member state in accordance with the laws of the host country. And right of establishment for nationals of an AU member state to set up in the territory of the host member state a business, trade, profession, vocation or an economic activity as a self-employed person have free trade without free movement. If we don't have free movement, how we can move goods? How uh, our citizens, our young people can move and have job opportunity and uh, to study? In We have good universities. We have to go with free movement to allow our citizens to move in, in within uh, our continent. African passport is then supposed to be a catalyst for free movement. And it's going to be an important uh, 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 document that will address the visa uh, constraints we have. So, because once we have that passport, then uh, it will be easy for people to move without the necessity of, uh, you know, waiting for long, drawn out bureaucratic red tape to get a visa. To be three types of the passport. The ordinary passport will be green in color. The diplomatic passport, or, or service, pass, uh, service passport will be blue uh, in color, and we'll have the diplomatic passport, which will be, which will be red in color. So these designs are already done, and uh, it now uh, it hopes on member states to start issuing the passport and produ producing the passport and issuing it to their citizens as soon as they are ready. But here is the catch. Um, you know, the, 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 the protocol has to come into effect first. That, that's the catch. The protocol has to come into effect first. So we, we therefore urgently need those 15 ratifications so that even the passport can be rolled out. Find out more about Agenda 2063 and the work of the African Union in promoting good governance and the rule of law by visiting www.au.int.